All right, here we go. Question number five from our 1316 homework number five in my lab math. They want us to find the exact value of this expression. So the first thing I'm going to do over here in my sketch space is I'm going to recopy that expression, but in terms of alpha and beta. Okay, so I'm going to have sine of alpha cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine of beta. Do you see that? The pi over 18's match, so those are both alpha, and the 7 pi over 18 match, so those are both beta. And then all I have to do is go to my formula list and see if I can find this formula in my list, okay? So down here somewhere we're going to have sine of alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine of beta. And so that's going to be a equivalent to sine of alpha minus beta. So I can rewrite this expression as sine of alpha minus beta using my sum and difference formulas. And then I can substitute back in for alpha and beta what they're equal to. And simplify. So pi over 18 minus 7 pi over 18, that's the same as 1 minus 7, which is negative 6 pi over 18, which will reduce. 6 goes into 18 three times. And did you happen to notice that that angle is negative? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that they're going to want us to fill that in with a negative pi over 3. So now I have to pick which one of these is correct, okay? Notice the formula was sine of alpha minus beta. That's going to be answer choice B. And the alpha was pi over 18. And the beta was 7 pi over 18. And the outcome was negative pi over 3. Okay, fingers crossed. Yeah, all right. Now, they want us to find the exact value of this expression. And we're going to start from where we left off here and keep going. All right, so let's recall that sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine of theta. That's an even odd property we've talked about, which allows us to deal with this negative angle here, okay? So then this expression can be rewritten as negative sine of pi over three. And at this point, all I need to go do is go to my unit circle at pi over three and find the y coordinate and change the sign. Okay, pi over 3, y coordinate, change the sign. That's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. Should be my final answer. Now, let's check this electronically with the calculator. And I'm going to put in the original problem just the way it looked sine of pi over 18 cosine of 7 pi over 18 minus cosine pi over 18 sine of 7 pi over 18. Oh, it didn't give it in radical form. That's so sad. But notice it did give me a negative, which I know the answer is supposed to be negative. I wonder if this is the decimal equivalent of negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, you know what? Let's check it this way. Let's type in negative sine of pi over 3. Yep, 
Well, that gives it. Now let's hit the SD button. Oh yeah, same decimal, okay? So for whatever reason, when I type this original expression in, it did not give the radical answer. It gave the decimal approximation, but that's okay because it still verifies that our answer is correct, okay? And it's important, I think, to know how to do it manually and electronically. It's good to go both ways. Bam. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.